hey guys welcome back to another video welcome if you're new don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into today's video so i hope you guys are having a wonderful wednesday so let's just go ahead and jump right into today's unboxing so today i'm going to be unboxing the your nail lab box for the month of september and let's just jump right into it so the first thing we get in this box is a jelly stamper and i'm actually super excited that this came in this box because i've been wanting to try that french tip hack that everyone's been doing and i did buy one like with my previous like sheen haul i did buy a jelly stamper from sheen but it did break and i haven't had a chance to buy a new one so i'm super excited for that one um what also came in this box are these press on nails and these are some short like almond stiletto with like a french um leopard print while i was unboxing these my niece was standing like right next to me and every time i get these press on nails from a cart she always want them so i'll probably do like a video using like five of them for my nails and if the remaining nails fit her i'll probably give them to her because like she's always just asking me to do her nails but since she's like little and she goes to school like i don't want the teacher to be like you can't wear these so i just try not to do them too much um but yeah, next in this box, we get two gel polish colors. We get a yellow and a purple, which I will be swatching in a few seconds. The next thing we get in this box is a prep in one. So you can use this as a nail glue, base coat, and slip solution. And it is 15 ml, so you do get a full size. Now these I'm super excited about. Like for some reason, I'm always excited to collect things like this because it's versatile. And plus it's full size, which makes it even better. The consistency on it is kind of like a base coat, but it is just a tad bit thicker. The next thing up in this box is a McCart nail decor decoration set. I believe this one was like the queen of hearts when they launched like all the decoration kits. And I did receive all of them, so um, I do have this already, but this most definitely give me like Valentine's Day theme. Um, we have some glitters in there, some red glitters, pink glitters, some really ruby red glitters. We have some little heart charms, some um, heart female slices, some mostly colored rhinestones, some red rhinestones. We have some pink heart charms, which are so pretty. And then we also have one sugar heart. And then we have the stickers. So here are the stickers. We have some abstract and just some red white and black hearts then we also have the cute little pink hearts x and o's and cupids and everything and then lastly we get two poly gels after party and club revolution now these i already have these was a part of the disco collection um i do feel like i've been getting repeat items so um i'm not gonna open the new ones i did just go ahead and grab the ones that i already opened from the disco collection so i'm just gonna go ahead and swatch those and i have swatched these on my channel when i did a full unboxing of the entire disco collection so i'll link that up in the cards right here if you want to go check it out but this is how the swatches look these colors are so gorgeous and they are reflective so once you turn off like all of the direct light and just use flash they sparkle really really pretty like these sparkles are insane with these um poly gels and also with the gel collections and in my last video i did use their gel liners from a part of their disco collection so i will have that video linked at the end um so if you want to check that one out make sure to go ahead and do so but here are the swatches for the gel polishes mccart has really nice gel polishes the coverage is super nice they go on like very smooth and if you like to purchase anything separate from the mccart website you can use my discount code which will be right here on screen and also linked down below so that's everything i got in my nail subscription box for the month of september um you may get different items they do have different variants now so just make sure that you go on the website and take the quiz so that you get items curated perfectly for you. And by the way, this box is $35 a month. Um, months ago, they did have like two options, which was a regular and luxe box. The regular was $25, which, come, which came with less items than the luxe box. But I will always recommend the $35 luxe box because with the $35 luxe box, you get items worth $60 to $100 only for $35 so I think that is an amazing price especially for you to just add items to your collection and just build from that um so now I'm just gonna go ahead and start applying my nail tips as I always do these are my favorite I've been using these like in my past 
few videos like non-stop i've been using these these are the three xl square from crafts by nine and myra is actually having a 25 percent off sale this whole september to celebrate her birthday so make sure to check out their website and see if they're in stock because these are one of her best sellers and i'm just applying this with my kira sky stick it nail glue which works amazing and i do have my peel off base on which is why my nails aren't like um dry um so yeah now i'm just going to cut them down to my desired length just making sure they are around the same length just so that i can get started with my application and i'll make sure they are all the same length and everything once i start to file and so now I'm going to be taking the prepping one, which like I said, you can use this as a base coat, slip solution, and nail glue. I'm just going to be going over, just like I always do once, once I've applied my nail tips, I like to go over my natural nails and a little bit further down where I glue on the nail. Just to give these nails some extra strength since I do have a peel off base coat. And sometimes the UNC peel off base coat works a little too good. So I do want to just add a little bit of strength so that when I start to file they don't pop off. Then of course once I finish applying this I will be curing for 30 seconds. I do recommend curing for 60 seconds but 30 seconds work for me so that's just what I always do. So now I'm just going to be taking out everything that I'm going to be using. I've got my 91% ice purple alcohol. I have the prepping one and then I also have one of my older McCart poly gel brushes. And then I'm going to be starting off with this after party color, which is the red poly gel. So from this box, I actually did only end up using two items. Um, when I do get these boxes, I do try to use like most of everything or as much as I can. But for me, like, honestly, I felt like nothing in this box was, like, matchy together. Like, I just felt like it was just a bunch of items thrown together. Like I said, I did get a lot of repeat items. And honestly, I just didn't really know how to, like, make them go together because I got, like, some Valentine's Day thing nail art. And then I got a purple and yellow poly gel, which don't match with the poly gels that I got. And for the purple poly gel, I actually used the... Um, club revolution when I actually got the entire collection so I didn't want to use that one again so the last option was to use the after party poly gel which is the one I'm using now I hate to even say this because I may sound ungrateful but like these items like individually they are good but together I do feel like it was just a bunch of items thrown together um, like I don't know if it's just because like I'm an ambassador or if people actually got this variation of the box This was one of my least favorite boxes just because I felt like like nothing was new to me I mean everything isn't really new in the boxes, but like the items together like I don't know like I just Really wasn't feeling this box, but I did reach out to them. So hopefully um, My October box is a better selection for me Oh, actually, I think it's because like since they automatically send the boxes out to us, we don't get to take the quiz that you guys get to take who's actually like subscribe. So maybe that has something to do with it. Um, she did say like they just based it off like our content. So yeah, I think that may be the reason, but hopefully my October box is a better selection. So I went ahead and cured that first nail and I actually did go ahead and put my UV protection gloves on because I will be sticking my hand in and out the light quite a bit for this set. So I did want to protect my hands and I did only one coat. I was going to do like all of my nails the same and try to do like some French tips using the jelly stamper. But I did change my mind right after I put on one coat. So I just cured this and one thing I didn't really like about the one coat is that the redness don't really show as much and you'll see that once I do um, a full coverage nail for my, I believe it was my middle finger, you can see the red a lot more. But I did apply some prepping one, that base gel, I'm using it as a base gel right here. And I'm just putting some of these butterflies on there. Um, I do feel like it works really good. Since it is a little bit thicker, I do feel like it's great for encapsulating like those stubborn um, sequin pieces and like like these metal butterflies and just things that are a little bit bigger that you have to encapsulate or things that have trouble laying down with just like a regular base coat the thickness really gets it to like really sink down and stay in place 
so once I have these right here just how I like I didn't cure it yet because I wasn't sure if it's actually what I wanted and so I pulled out some of these foils that I already pre shared pre shredded and I'm just taking my tweezers I will eventually switch to my brush because it was a little bit harder to do it with the tweezers I'm just gonna be outlining the entire nail with this foil and these was a little bit hard to get on there um, they wasn't really staying how I wanted them to so I just sped it up and I did the best I could with them I wanted the border to be like a solid line of gold foils but you will see some gaps in there just because it wasn't really laying flat how I wanted it to they kept moving out of place like it was sticking to my brush this part was a really long process so I did just speed up the entire process oh and also um the video like the entire video I wasn't even gonna post this because I didn't really like how it turned out and I'll share more of my final thoughts at the end but I wasn't even gonna post this but I looked at the pictures once again and I was just like I sat there for hours doing this set so I was just like I'm gonna just go ahead and edit it and by that time it was like three o'clock in the morning so I was kind of like lazy at that point so a lot of this will be sped up just because like I didn't really want to go through all of the footage and just edit stuff out so yeah I just got lazy and just sped everything up once I did the border on the pointer finger I am going to repeat that same process on my pinky and I do like how it look I did post like a sneak peek on my Instagram if you don't follow me make sure to go ahead and follow me on my Instagram here is my username my Instagram has actually been blowing up these past couple of days because I posted like two reels and they have like I want to say I'm not looking at it right now but I want to say it has like four to seven million views one of them has like four million views and the other one has like seven and I'm so grateful because I've been gaining so many new followers and I'm reaching so many new people which is so exciting um so yeah if you haven't followed my Instagram yet make sure to go follow me I do post um often on my stories so you do get to see like more than you see on YouTube like behind the scenes sometimes and sneak peeks polls that I do sometimes to get you to get you guys to help me with my next nail set um but yeah I'm just gonna be repeating this on my pinky nail oh so one thing I did want to mention I just remembered so at first I did use the um the prepping one for my slip solution because like I said you can use this as a slip solution as well um it did make the poly gel a little bit softer for me which was a little bit too soft for me like personally I like to use um just 91% ice purple alcohol because when I am forming and shaping like the structure with poly gel I do like to have it just a little bit firmer so it stays in place exactly where I put it it actually did work really good with that prepping one as a slip solution but I prefer to use 91% ice purple alcohol I think I did use it like two other times but then I just went back to using like my 91% ice purple alcohol because it was much easier for me Macart has one of the best consistencies of poly gel. If you haven't tried the Macart poly gel, I 100, no, actually 1000% recommend you try Macart's poly gel because the quality is amazing. They have a ton of colors, different ranges of nudes, pinks, and everything. They also have a black poly gel, which is so amazing. Like it works so good, it's so opaque. Um, I'm not sure if you can buy like the colors separately. Most of them are like in different kits so that may be a problem if you do want to buy them separately but yeah if you haven't tried my cards poly gel i 1000 percent recommend you try if you do want to purchase anything from a card you can use my discount code which is underscore nails by key underscore um i do always have my discount codes linked down below so make sure to go ahead and check that out and the process of watching this was actually super satisfying when i watched it back but since i already explained it on my pointer finger i'm just gonna let you guys finish watching this part play out um if you can go ahead and give the video a like for me it really helps me out a ton and at the end of the video make sure to leave a comment and make sure that you have my post notifications turned on so that you never miss a video when i upload i'm trying really hard to be like more consistent like i used to um i have been taking a few breaks and not posting like for days sometimes so i'm trying to get in the habit of posting like every other day be more consistent
and that didn't take long at all so i did go ahead and cure that for 30 seconds and now i'm moving on to the next nail so what i picture in my head with this design i wanted to do like a foil encapsulated background and then do like two separate butterfly wings on both of these to like create one big butterfly and to do that i was just gonna do like some encapsulated for you over the entire nail and then use gel polish to dry like my butterfly wings but i couldn't find a color close enough for the butterfly wings so then i was gonna do like two solid nails of this poly gel and then i have like these butterfly stickers which i do show eventually and you'll see what i mean um, I was going to do like two full coverage of these nails and then do like gold butterfly wings how I was going to do like the nail art but once I finished doing my two coats on this middle finger I wanted to balance out the goldness so I did do something totally different and I was really hoping it looked right so you guys see what it turned out to be once I finished but yeah I'm just doing my regular application application to smooth out this poly gel i do use the pat 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 motion to um spread out the poly gel and then once i get it over the entire surface i just lightly go over the entire nail to smooth it out and that's basically how i do my poly gel application as you can see here i'm just patting it out to spread it over the entire surface i do leave most of the poly gel like in the middle because i do want to have that structure and this poly gel you actually don't even have to encapsulate which is what i really really love about it like since it is like glitter and reflective you would think you would have to protect those glitters but no you can just actually go over this with the file or e-file and you will be good to go once you put on the top coat <laughs> So I went ahead and cured that for 30 to 60 seconds and I was going to go and do another two coats on my ring finger but I was looking at it and I was like I wanted to balance out the gold because if I did another solid nail with the poly gel I felt like the gold wouldn't have been enough so instead of doing the poly gel I did use the prepping one as a base coat going over the entire nail and I'm just going to put foils all over this nail I didn't want it to be like really really solid so I did leave a lot of spaces in the middle and I just wanted it to be like broken foils over the entire nail and I was really hoping this turned out right so hopefully you guys are enjoying the video um and again this was a long process because these foils was not like laying where I wanted wanted it to lay these foils definitely work better when they're in smaller pieces compared to the bigger ones because the bigger ones are so freaking stubborn. Um, and I did go ahead and do the rest of it off camera because like I said, I was having a hard time. And this is how they turned out. I do love how this nail turned out. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do my thumb off camera. And this is what the nails look like so far. And now it's time to encapsulate. And I'm going to be taking my favorite clear, which is from Macar. If you guys haven't tried the Macar clear, it is so clear. Like, this is definitely my favorite. I'm going to be encapsulating all of my nails except for my middle finger, which is the one I did two coats of the After Party Poly Gel on. Because, like I said, you don't need to encapsulate it. So, let's work smarter, not harder. And of course we need to encapsulate the other ones because we do want to protect the foils and the butterfly pieces. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and do that. I did try to use the prepping one for the encapsulation. Um, but like I said, it does make it a little bit softer than I like. So I did go back to using my ice purple alcohol and I'm just going to let this part finish playing out because... I'm just simply encapsulating the nail but again make sure that you guys are liking the video and leave a comment it does help me out a lot Thank you. 
So here's me finishing up the encapsulation for my ring finger. I really love encapsulating this one for some reason. And also I did go back over with another layer of poly gel because I felt like it was a little bit thin. I actually did film the filing part because I was going to include it in. But since this video is already going to be so long and I did show my encapsulation on two nails, I did decide to edit that out. But now I will be showing my buffing process. Um, I am using the cuticle oil method. If you go over the nail before you buff with cuticle oil, it does make the nail a lot smoother. And since I heard about this and seen it, I tried it. I haven't stopped doing it since. When I showed this in one of my other videos, I can't remember which one, but I did get a question like, won't the top coat peel off if you go over it with cuticle oil? So when you do this, you want to make sure that you wash your hands. I always use one of my little scrub brushes and make sure to get the entire nail the sides and underneath like I just go crazy with the soap and water and just make sure that all of the oils are off the nail before I go over it with top coat that way once you do add on the top coat it won't peel off easily because of the oil underneath it so yeah just make sure that you wash your hands very good when you use this method and for my filing my nails aren't the best being foul especially the nails where I did the foil border on because I didn't want to like go crazy and foul it off so I tried to like foul it so it's very straight but then again I wanted to keep like my design intact. I didn't want to foul through the foils because I did not want to go back and add more. So yeah you can clearly see here like the other two nails are like good but like you can see the ones where I had the butterflies and foil border those are the ones that aren't foul too good. And yeah, these are the butterfly stickers I was talking about. You saw like the big ones, they have two separate wings. I'm just going to put two together to make one big butterfly, but I did decide to do something different. So for the middle nail, I just went with a single butterfly and I just put that in the middle. And then I have these gold rhinestones here. This pack is piled to the brim. Like you get so many rhinestones. If I can find the link, I'll link them down below. But I'm always so scared to use these rhinestones because anytime I use gold, like none of my golds match and they're like different shades. I'm always scared like it will be kind of tacky looking because like it's not really the same or don't match. But I was just like, what the heck, I'm going to use them anyway just to spice up this nail. And I'm going to use these smaller ones to just add like random rhinestones all over the nail. And I did go over it with top coat first just so that I can cure them into it and it would just save me time. And once I do that, I'm going to go ahead and cure this and I'll just go over the rest of the nails with the top coat. And then I will be done with this design. I will show you guys what it looks like once I am done. So since I do have a clear nail for my ring finger, I did have to make sure to go underneath it as well just to really give it that clarity. I did cure it for 30 seconds on top and then I flipped my hands over and cured it for another 30 seconds. And for my cuticle oil today, I'm going to be using my Bomb Nails Rose Cuticle Oil. This smells so, so good. 
and I don't really know how to explain it but once I rub this in like it feels like very thick and like a lotion is so moisturizing like it doesn't sit on top of your skin and like have that oily residue which I hate I hate feeling oily so I love when cuticle oils work like this I did receive this in a PR package from her um and she also sent me some of her powders which are so amazing but yeah this is how the nails turned out so i do like how they turned out it's just a few things bother me though i didn't really have like too many options to work with i did have to use like the red poly gel and since these are like super reflective and glittery using the gold may not have been a good choice because i feel like you can't really see what's going on unless you're like looking really really close and then also for like the pinky and index nail the coverage isn't really there like compared to the middle nail you can see the red pops a little bit more with two coats and also the shaping on the border nails that i did with the for you you can see those are just a little bit thicker than the other nails but other than that i did enjoy using the poly gel i will have the your nail lab box website link down below so if you are interested in these boxes make sure to go ahead and subscribe i wasn't going to post these at first but let me know what you think of this nail set and as always make sure to like and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video bye